Good morning, it's Hiker Dude Dad. I am back at the Trout Run uh, Nature Preserve, uh, just south of Lancaster here near Quarryville. Um, we are walking above a little stream here. It's pretty much two streams that uh, kind of intersect and uh, we'll be down in the valleys here for most of this. We're descending right away from, uh, from the road. But I was here at Trout Run for the first time um, in one of my hiking hat trick videos. And I really only scratched the surface of it, so I wanted to come back here and do a better, um, more complete uh, hike through Trout Run. Um, this is definitely one of the ones I want to bring my kids to uh, someday, but they just keep having like school and stuff and, uh, and sports. <laughs> oh my God, spring is crazy for sports. Um, so they'll get here eventually. Um, as soon as school's out, we got to start training for Utah. The big five is coming this summer. And uh, so I'm going to have to start getting them into hiking shape so they'll be here with me sooner or later. <laughs> so, but for now, we're just uh, cutting through here, following the blue trail. So I came down this bank here, and now I'm at a confluence here of uh, three three things coming together here. Um, I guess we're coming down from here and down where I've been, and everything uh, combines and flows that way. So I've been I've been over here before. I've been over here before. Um, but I've never gone back this way, so we're going to check that out.
I just got to a spot here where kind of cut off on this side. So I think I'm going to cross on all these trees. So, figure I'd go shoulder cam here. <laughs> Hope we don't get wet. To that. <clears throat> oh. I don't want to go around that again. I will be a big old tree hugger. Hold on to that guy. And boom. And we crossed. Awesome. So as you come up the north end of Trout Run here, you start to see some stone walls built. And then uh, kind of the payoff here, a big tunnel culvert that's under the Enola Low Grade Trail. It used to be a railroad uh, in the area. I think it was, I think it was narrow gauge. I'm probably wrong, but it's low grade. Uh, meaning the goal of it was to uh, make it uh, less than a 2% incline, I believe, and uh, no more than a 2 degree turn. So there's, it actually comes west towards the Susquehanna, and then there's just a big arcing curve where I guess it's no more than, uh, you know, a 2% turn. Um, low and slow, I guess. Um, this looks very interesting over here. I guess the trail does go up to the tracks or what's left of the tracks, the trail, whatever. Um, I don't have my hiking poles with me and I don't have my waterproof boots, man. If I did, I would, uh, I didn't know this was here. I'd probably try and weasel this across. To the mountain. You know what? We're going over the mouth of the tunnel. Whatever. I'm already a little wet. It's not that deep. Oh, rocks are moving now. All right, well, we're stoked. Kind of lost it. Came off the rails there. Now I'm kind of... <laughs> now I'm kind of stranded over here. <laughs> ah, good job, Rye. Excellent balance. So anyway, might as well just... Uh, stay wet here and... Yeah. Uh, See if my drainage ports on these shoes work. But, uh, oh man, yeah, we got the stone over there too. Amazing tunnel. So many tunnels here in the, uh, under the Enola low grade. Uh, some gentlemen there on Instagram and, and YouTube, I've mentioned them before, but Uncharted Lancaster, uh, I'll actually link to our video of doing their uh, Tunnels of the Enola Low Grade Challenge. Um, so yeah, Adam at Uncharted Lancaster tends to uh, explore these tunnels a lot. Um, and Topo Ranger, jealous of your big high boots right now that you wear. Um, because I've got two big old soakers. But, uh, but this is beautiful. This is nice. I'm going to, next time... I will be prepared down here 
and I will walk through this tunnel. So I was just on that island there and it's not so deep, not so deep until right here where it's really flowing. So got another soaker, made the leap. See my footprints here. <laughs> Put them back over here. Kind of thinking I might head up here. Actually, it'll give my feet a chance to dry out. But come up here over the tunnel. I'm just hustling up here. Oh, this is gonna be fun on the way down. Oh shoot, might be butt sliding. What the heck am I getting into today? Holy cow. Oh. Alright. Alright, yeah, so here we are. An old low grade trail. Yeah, they've removed all the tracks here. And uh yeah. Moved all the tracks here and turned it into a packed uh small gravel um rail trail bikes hikers uh whatever but yeah we are up over that bridge so now i think i'm butt sliding down do my best here to kind of balance myself don't want my pack to pull me backwards so I'm trying to stay over my feet. Ah, this isn't too bad. I feel like I could give out a second, but a couple logs, a couple trees here to catch my fall. Oh, that's a nice drop. Oh, we're right over the mouth of the tunnel right now. And then it flattens out a little bit here. Okay, getting away a little bit. All right, all right, that wasn't too bad. Back where we started. Figure I keep it on in case I hilariously fell down on my ass the whole way. Say I've been focusing on the waterfalls, but man, some of these rock formations, um, just massive. Uh, really give the place a sense of scale and uh, really make you feel like you're walking through an awesome like canyon oasis kind of valley here so i uh shed a layer i'm working up a sweat here trying to stay uh on my feet and out of the water so i just jumped that and uh we just crossed where the um yeah we'll call it the west branch uh comes into trout run joins trout run trout run flows pretty much north and south right here and um, there's a west branch that we were on first. And then we kind of went north on Trout Run to the tunnel. But uh, now we're south of the west branch, walking south. Through this hollow. It is absolutely beautiful. So tranquil. I uh, haven't seen anybody else here. This is my kind of hike. A lot of alone time and um, yeah, no, this is fantastic. I think I may end up working all the way back to the main road and then I actually parked. There's limited parking here at Trout Run. Um, so I parked at Steinman Run. So I think this is going to put me hopefully out to a road east of Steinman Run, and I think I'm just gonna walk on the road back to there. So, um, all in all, I think it's gonna be about two and a half to three miles total that I did today, so that's pretty nice.
All right. So from the west branch of uh, the west branch that runs into Trout Run, if you go south, there's one or two cool waterfalls right around the confluence there. But then uh, really nothing else the whole way back to Stump Road. Um, the Trout Run itself calms down becomes a little wider, slower, and the trail actually takes you up and away from it. Um, so you climb a little bit, a little winded here, but yeah, if you want to add some elevation on your way out, I'd go that way. Uh, but then, you know, trot run is down behind that amazing looking cabin chalet, but it's down, down in this valley here. But at this point, Enjoying some wildflowers here on the walk back down Stump Road, uh, back to my car at Stein and Run. So it doesn't look that far, maybe a quarter to a third of a mile. But uh, yeah, just walking here. I hear some huge dogs at this next house, so I'm hoping they're tied up. And so the you know, one's walking around the driveway. Oh, fantastic. All right. Well, hey, thanks for watching. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll keep doing this. Please subscribe. Uh, ring the bell. Get notifications. Tell a friend. Tell a friend who likes to hike. Uh, check out this channel. There might be some place that they want to go uh, that they can check out videos I've done. And um, otherwise, I'm just going to keep having fun and try and stay away from this big dog down here just walking up the driveway to meet me okay we'll see you